Hey everybody, Jake here, and I'm a little tardy to the party on this one. Um, this is the Pilot Kakuno. I'm going to do a quick unboxing, give my initial impressions. Um, obviously I've taken it out of the packaging that I bought it in, but as far as this, this is still sealed, so I haven't handled the pin or anything like that. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Get my little unboxing knife here. And just slice that right open. So let's see. Okay. So that's how we got the fountain pen, we got the cap, and it looks like we have a cartridge underneath that, which I uh, won't be using. I'll be using a converter. But let's uh, see how to enjoy comment. Okay, so it's got some some little instructions as well in there. That's good. Um, this is more of a uh, beginner fountain pen, or at least that's who it's targeted at, so that makes sense. Um, very, very unique grip on this. It's almost, I didn't know this, I, I thought it was just a straight grip. It's almost like the uh, Lamy Safari, but a lot more toned down. Um, it's a lot more akin to the Twisby Go, if you held that. It's very lightweight. Um, it may help when, once I have a converter in there. Oh, that was very unpleasant, that squeak. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put a converter in there, and I'll, I'll fill it up in just a bit. Push that all the way down. Hmm. So the body is hexagonal. The grip is hexagonal as well. But the way, so I guess you could grip it a different way, but that's... That's the way that feels the most natural to me. This is one of the winky face nibs. All the nibs have a, a smile of some sort on them. And the uh, cap. So let's see how it... That's not bad. Um, it does have a little roll stop here, which I think is a bit unnecessary since it's a six-sided pin to begin with. But... Oh, wow. Okay. Never mind, I can, I can echo that. Okay. How does it post? It posts... Not that deeply. Maybe down to like there. Let's see. Hmm. It's not bad. But it's long enough in, in my hand, I assume, for a smaller hand. So on a child or something like that, this would be just fine. Um, this, speaking of fine, haha, this is a fine nib. Um, it's very, very, very fine. The, the actual tip is very, very small. Little gray feet on here. And these are, these look like, yeah, you can just pull this out with friction. Or they're just friction fit, rather. Go ahead and slide that back in there. That's interesting. So overall, uh, my impressions are the grip is made of a very nice plastic. The body and the cap are not so much. Um, but they feel durable. They don't feel, you know, like this. It's very thick plastic on the uh, on the cap there. Oh, it's going to do that squeaking every time. Very thick plastic as well on the body, so that's that's interesting. Um, one thing that I did notice that kind of bums me out is that there are holes in the back here. Now you might be able to seal those up in eyedropper of this, and this could hold a ton of ink. And it would look really cool sloshing down through there. So kind of sad they put those holes there, but I'm they might have might have had a reason for it. And what's interesting it is that it actually looks almost like there are holes in the cap, but there there aren't. They don't go all the way through. You can kind of see that. Well, you can't see that there. It's the point. These most definitely do go all the way through. You can see a little bit of blue there. So yeah, that's that's a little disappointing. Um, overall, it doesn't feel bad, though. Let me go ahead and leave this off, and I'll go ahead and ink this pen up. I've been changing my ink and pen every day um, for the last 18 days as part of the 30 inks 30 days challenge. So today... I thought I would go with the Pilot Kakuna. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is the Kakuna. Okay. <laughs> Let's check myself for that for a minute. And some Pilot Orochizuku Kosumosu. Because pink and blue is a wonderful combination. I apologize for that. That didn't feel very much. Let's try to get a... A little bit better feel, not that it matters, because you'd be able to use all this in a day, but I still want to see what it looks like. Okay. 
That's not too bad. Let's screw this back on. Let me find something to wipe this nib off on real quick. So yeah, I'm going to get this ink out of frame so you can take a little bit better look at the pen here. So you can definitely see the ink down in there, and it does give you enough of an ink windows to see, you know, what your ink level's at. Let's do a, a really, really quick writing with this. Um, it won't be much, but I, I do want to see how it writes. Grab a sheet I've been using for this ink challenge post on Instagram. Let's see. There's definitely some feedback, but it's not that bad. Okay, it's uh, it's tolerable. I would probably have preferred a size a little bit larger, maybe a medium, but this isn't, this is far from the worst fine nib that I've ever used. But I'll go ahead and uh, use this pen for the day. Now, because I'm switching out pens every day, it may be a little while before I actually get around to doing the review of this, but I still want to unbox it and give you my initial impressions. Overall, it's pretty good, especially for the price um, if you're looking for a more child-friendly pen like this.